Alright, today I'm going to show you how to embed a video from YouTube into PowerPoint. First thing you have to do is you got to develop a toolbar into the ribbon up here. How you do that is you got a quick access toolbar, customized quick access toolbar right here, and go down into more commands. Once you go there, you're going to have to hit popular, and then you're just going to check off show developer tab in the ribbon. Once you've clicked that and hit OK, it will show up here in the ribbon. Alright, once you get the developer toolbar, you want to go to that and hit more controls, the little wrench and hammer icon. Hit that and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the S's. And once you get there, you're just going to hit shockwave flash object. Hit that and press OK. After you click that and hit OK, the thing is going to disappear, and you're just going to drag a box. It's not going to show up. You're just going to you're just going to click anywhere and drag a box. Doesn't matter really how big it is, just as big as you want the embedded video to be. So you're just going to do up, do that, and it's going to show just like that. Okay, once you get to this step, you can go to the YouTube video and copy and paste the URL. So today, I want to watch the Karate Chimp, so I'm going to just go to the Karate Chimp video. doesn't really matter how you do it, just search it up in the YouTube bar, go to the video you want, and then copy and paste the URL. So that's all you really need from YouTube at this point. Go back to, Power, go back to PowerPoint, and then right click, and it's going to show you a list of options. You're just going to hit properties and it's going to show all this stuff. What you want to do first, let me drag that in there. What you want to do first is go to movie and paste the URL. And after you do that, you want to delete the watch question mark. And then on the other side of the V, you want to hit um, another dash. You also want to get rid of the equals sign. Uh, yeah, slash, not a dash, my bad. Okay, once you do that, you want to go up to loop, and it says true right now. You just want to click false. And then you want to go to playing. It says true. You want to make that false also. So this is pretty much all you really need to do in the properties bar. Um, if anything goes wrong, just make sure that the equals sign is gone, the watch question mark is gone, and everything looks like this with the, da or the slash on the other side of the V. So you're going to hit X, and then once you get to this, you're just going to click on that and hit F5. It's going to go right into your PowerPoint. You're just going to click into your into the next slide, wherever you're trying to embed it into, and you're going to hit I recognize this content, allow it to play, and continue, and hopefully it should show up just like this. Okay, that's all for the embedding. Hopefully that taught you how to embed, and that's helpful to you. That's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.